How are we then folks? Here we are in the garage. So we are going to be doing a video on how to clean your motorcycle and also how to treat it with ACF 50. Watch out, see what you think and roll the intro. So here we are, bike, absolutely filthy. Been used for a couple of weeks through all the road salt, everything like that. So the main products I use for initial remover is I've got Red 7, which is a part of AutoSmart. Yeah, really good, so it gives a kind of bleeding effect. It's all pH neutral, but it's very good and doesn't remove any of the polish that I apply and also won't affect any of the bodywork. I also use pH neutral snow foam by AutoSmart. Good now for pressure washer. And the two bucket method with Meguiar's Gold Glass Wash Shampoo in it. By applying the red 7 to remove a lot of the heavy rubbish and apply this to bodywork and everything it won't damage any of the paintwork any of the aluminium apply it on absolutely everything stainless steel exhaust you get that polished up as well and the wheels What you will see is the bleeding effect of the Red 7. You can see the bleeding effect of this product. There are other products available in the market, but I've always used AutoSmart and it's been absolutely fantastic. So what we'll do now is we will get the pressure washer in in a couple of minutes to remove all the heavy sud and crap that's in everywhere. Get that all cleaned up. And we'll see how she looks. <laughs> So that's most of the heavy residue off now. What we'll do is we'll use a snow foam, let that sit for a couple of minutes, give it a rinse down to remove more. What we'll use now is a small microfiber brush just to get into the bits and bobs. I'll always give it a rinse in the clean water. One thing where we won't touch the paint mark with that. So as you can see here, and with the suspension and you've got obviously your mud flap that's still pretty grimy, so you need to get in with the brush and really focus in that area. And we might even need to use a wee bit of heavier cleaning compound just to get into it.
let's give it a rinse, see how she's doing. So as you can see, I've still got a bit of grime in there. of a heavy build up of sud road salt. I need to remember as well, I use my bike every day, commuting back and forward to work. So it's now, give it a good dry. So what we're going to use now is a thing called Tango. It's another product by Auto Smart. This provides like a drying aid, like an Aqualax. So it helps with feeding. And everything that's going to spit on absolutely everything, seats, wheels, the lock, doesn't leave a residue or nothing. Now what we use now is a detailing till, it's got a microfiber, fold it up so it's got squares. You'll be wondering why on earth do I have my hoover? So a lot of people use drying aids to get into the wee bits and bobs. I got this hoover from was Screwfix. It also works as a blower as well. It does blow out reasonably warm air. There's two products I like to use after. WD-40, I'm using all my pegs and with the gear linkages just to displace any water and then I'll spray some lubricant and also around the engine I'll spray some electric cleaning solvent just to clean up any of the electrical connectors to disperse any water to prevent corrosion as well. The thing is, the reason why I do these handlebars is BMW are known uh, for the switches going. So I actually had a problem and I had to replace my full beam switch. That part itself is £220 plus that from BMW. Comes as a whole unit and grip separates from it. It's quite common electrical contactors actually go in it with the water ingress coming from the front of the bike and it corrodes away the terminal. Thankfully Motorworks saved the day for me, they had one second hand one in, I got it for £110. Thanks Motorworks. called High Style, another product by AutoSmart. This is no advertisement for AutoSmart, I just really like the products and they're very reasonable. This provides your black trims, a nice shine, do not get it near brakes or tyres, it's very slippery as that is oil based but it's long lasting. You do need to take some precautions when you're doing it. Uh, I use some old microfibers, covered up the brakes, foot pegs, so I can get in round about the engine and get that all sprayed. Then I'll go over with a light microfiber and wipe away any excess. So let's see how it's done. So the ACFD's been sitting in there for about five minutes now. Pretty warm down the bottom. I like to give it a good shake. We've got a nice spray. Lovely.
So that's one side done. What we'll do now is we'll give it a wipe down, wipe away any excess, and we'll do the other side. Now what you will notice is you've got a lot of smoke off the engine. After I've done the fuel bike, we normally run the bike for a couple of minutes, burn off any excess. Lovely. Now one bit I always remember to get is your forks. They get absolutely caked with the crap coming off the front of the roads, behind cars, lorries, everything like that. Make sure your forks nice and clean and that will prevent any deterioration on your fork seals as well. So folk, that's how I clean my bike. How do you clean yours? Give me some feedback down in the comments below.